Bob. Brad. <laughs> Today it's Woke me up. back braces. We've got a it's number. It's back brace day. We've got a lot of them here. Do you use them? Is it worth the money? Well, we found, and I personally have found, yes, you can use them. However, it's most important that you know how to use them, when to use them. In a few details, we're going to show you everything about what you can do. In 9.4 seconds. Exactly right. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. All right, if you look online, you'll find dozens and dozens of different kinds of back braces. We have basically the four types that we really feel you can use well. Right. And we're going to go through each one and the circumstances in which and how to use them. So uh, one at a time, we'll be right back and... Uh, show you what we can do. Okay, here we go. So one big problem with back braces is people overuse them. Right. Uh, they keep them on. And their core is weak. Yep, they keep them on all the time. They keep them snug, and it's not the way to use them. Right. Uh, they're uh, misunderstood, and we're going to show you the correct way to use them. First of all, uh, this particular back brace, uh, I like this one. I think you do too, Bob. Right. The shoulder straps. Keep are, it in place. Are there for, and actually there's a more important reason right. other than that. Uh, first of all, if we look at just a back brace, I like the elastic ones like this and one that goes around so you can snug it up, not tight, just so it doesn't come off. Right. And let's say I need to lift up something heavy, that's when you need a back brace that has these outside right. adjustable temporary straps. Bring this one they over. They really tighten up. Yeah, and bring this one over and get it nice and snug. Do your lift. Just for the Gym. lift. Yep, then loosen it up Locked. again. Right. Okay. Now, the thing about back braces that's dangerous for some people is they think, oh, I've got my back brace on, I can lift more right. weight safely. They become overconfident. Right, and that's not the case. With your back brace on, the most important thing you do is still do body mechanics right. properly. So you're going to arch the back, shoulders back, head up, and you're going to lift. Good technique. Yeah, with the legs, with the back brace on or without, tighten it up. Now, the shoulder straps, it may help hold it up, but that's not the main reason. The main reason these are is... They're always there, and they're reminding you that you're wearing this. And if you bend forward with poor body mechanics, they rub on your shoulders, and it's a reminder. Oh, yeah, that's right. i got to have good mechanics. And so then it's like, there we go. We're going to do good mechanics with tightening the brace. Uh, so uh, that's why there are shoulder straps. Right, and use gotcha. them appropriately. So we'll go on with the next step. I'm going to take this one off. Let's cut. Uh, here's the basic ones that we would recommend. Uh, it's elastic, uh, and that's all it is, basically elastic, but it has two sets, and you can put it around. But I would not get the elastic one unless for sure you have the, the right. extra straps. Extra you, you can tighten right. it up like that. Again, when you lift, tighten it up, use the core, proper body mechanics. This is going to be a little cheaper. Uh, than the one with the shoulder straps. A little less evident, too. Yeah, yeah, and you can wear these underneath clothes. Right. You can do that. It's probably I like to keep a T-shirt so there's something, so it's not directly on your skin and you have problems with it. So It's like your Spanx. <laughs> Spanx? That's for women. Oh, women. <laughs> I don't know about those yeah. things. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, here is another one we like. Now, you're going to find when you look for back braces, this one also has the adjustable tight, tighten them up when you lift uh, straps. But if it says staves, S-T-A-V-E, I believe it's spelled, you're going to notice on the back, Bob, can you pull that yep. out? There's a, sometimes it's a metal. This one is metal. And is that you what that? Can shape it? Yeah, you cannot bend it very easily at all. Some that that was no, a tight one. Yeah, yeah but we did the one. Usually, like after a surgery, doctors will like one with a stave in. Right. So sometimes oh, you may want that in there. Well, they don't want any movement whatsoever. Yeah, get that in to sturdy it up. Now this one that I had on before actually has built-in staves. They're smaller, 
The and those can, can be shaped, right? No, these are just oh, flexible. The they yeah. just offer a little extra support. Sure. You cannot take them in and out. So make sure you read on the back brace if there's staves and if they're removable. Um, again, for most people, you probably, I don't think staves are really that big a deal. Right. The most important thing if is you had surgery, good yes. body mechanics. Right. And now coming up, lastly but not leastly, my favorite back brace. Now, if you want a back brace that really tightens up and cinches up tightly and that you can easily adjust it, this is the way to go. That's a cornucopia. <laughs> yeah, this is really a nice. They have these strings and they go through a series of loops and pulleys. And uh, I'll show you how it works in just a second. Okay, here it is. I've got it simply Velcroed on. You can look in the back how the strings lace like so. And here are two Velcro control uh, tabs. Now, when I pull, you pull them both at the same time and you'll see it tighten. Really cinches oh, up, does it, Brad? This really cinches up nice and snug. And it's very controllable. If I want to back off a little bit, that's all I do. And then you simply Velcro here, Velcro here. Again, you're not going to stay all day with this tight. Right. <laughs> it would not be good. Just for lifts. Just while you put your stress on your back. Now, I do want to mention one uh, circumstance where you may want something like this on for longer periods of time. I use this because my back doesn't tolerate bouncing around. Well, Brad, what do you have? A lawnmower. No, you have a spondy. Oh, well, we don't worry about what it is. Yeah, I got spondylolisthesis. One way or another, I got back pain. And when you bounce around on a, hard, on a surface like a lawnmower, on a riding lawnmower, and I put this on, I tighten it up. It really secures things down. It's good, and I can ride longer. I'm only on there for an hour or so. I would say if you also have spinal stenosis and you want to walk, sure, it may allow you to walk farther if you have it tightened up. Sure, yep. And I think the other thing about this, I think you could use it for an SI belt. Sure. Just a small, lower, narrow one. Lower down. Yep, yeah, that really would. sits up. Yep, I'm going to do that right now because it actually feels good because I do have an SI issue. Drop it down just above your hips, yep. right below your waist. Uh, across and, uh, the pelvis. Oh, there we go. And I can just feel that on that right SI. That feels good. And that's when you know when you got an SI problem and you put a belt on, tighten it up, and it, and feels, it feels good. It feels like good support. Right. That's a good thing. That's one where you may wear it more often as opposed to just, sure. when, just when you lift. Yeah. Wow, Bob, we covered a lot of information. You I, sure did. I hope people weren't getting bored. Well, one way or another, be positive good. Positive vibes. Yeah, positive yeah. vibes, be good to your back. Let me throw something at the no, camera. There again. we go. 